Hey everybody, welcome to another good e-reader review video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. Today we're going to check out the Ectaco Partner Lux. This is a very cool device that you may have seen during our unboxing video. And today we're going to give you a solid hands-on review of the inner workings of this as well as the practical everyday usage that you may get out of this. Now, Ectaco does not give out any specs. They don't give out RAM, processor, resolution, anything like that. We've asked the company on numerous occasions to provide us with this information, but they have not. The only thing that we know about it is that it's a resistive touchscreen, LCD based. It has one gig of internal memory and a micro SD card to increase the memory and it's running Android 2.3.4. Let's check this out. Reason being why they don't uh, release too many specs is because it is first and foremost a educational translator, an Android device second. It just so happens to be running Android to run all of its translator apps. Micro SD card, mini USB. Uh, I believe that is a headphone jack, but it's not a 3.5. I believe it's a 2.3, uh, 2.5 millimeter headphone jack. It's the smaller of the bunch. Uh, nothing on the top here, but you get this nice kind of, uh, I don't know, perforated metal kind of look. You also have a stylus in the corner here because it is a resistive touchscreen, much like a Nintendo DS, if you've ever used one of those. Fake uh, kind of screw elements here. And uh, detachable battery, so if your battery does crap out on you, you can always take that out. The front is a nice brushed aluminum plaque kind of feel to it. And if you crack it open, you get a an attached built-in keyboard with an Android OS above. Um, this is going to get uh, a little bit difficult to film because this does so many things. So you can do it keyboard style, kind of like a laptop with an angle to it. You can put it flat. You can rotate the screen, it actually rotates, and you can use it cell phone slash, um, what do you call, uh, tablet style, and just go ahead and use it kind of like a PDA. So, very versatile. Um, so far, we've been playing around with this, seems like an okay device. Uh, for the remainder of this video, we're just going to show the keyboard just a little bit so we can dive a little deeper into the screen, because... Um, yeah, it's going to be hard to capture on camera here, but we'll make it as best we can for you guys. Yeah, this is almost like a modern retro device. You don't see many tablets with keyboards physically built into it. You see a lot of tablets like the Microsoft Service with uh, a detachable keyboard dock or say the Asus Transformer Infinity. Most tablets just they have a keyboard as a, an accessory right. and often it can be a very expensive accessory but this is a keyboard that's actually built into it. I could see this it, although it's being marketed as a, in, as a translator I could see this being very applicable towards like the business class that gets sick and tired of having to type out emails on a touch screen. Instead you could use the keyboard to type you know your emails or your notes and things like that. You, all this here is the preloaded software. As you can see it's a lot of dictionaries, Oxford, so on. And you see a lot of the Ectaco proprietary software that they developed, translating services as well as a lot of educational type stuff. Spelling, translations, media players, but you also see that has Adobe Moon Plus Reader. There is honestly a lot of preloaded content on this device, especially the educational side. Um, you have everything from uh, US citizenship tests to translators, Google Translator here that goes on, uh, the translator here that goes off of Google, tons of dictionaries, uh, tons of educational uh, applications, and you have uh, Ectaco's own kind of educational market as well that really just goes to their website but uh, it is indeed a full um, marketplace for content not so much apps right so here's the traditional you know experience here and Oops. now if you've ever used resistive and capacitive they're going to be a little bit different um, resistive doesn't actually you uh, doesn't actually respond to any taps unless you really touch it and bend the screen in because there's a film 
overlaying the actual LCD surface. So that's what resistive is. It's similar to if you've ever been in an air flight before. Yes. And uh, the screens that are built into the seats in like normal class. It's this sort of this type of screen, except I think it's it's maybe a little bit higher resolution. Of course, being Android, you can install whatever apps you want. So we've loaded in our own uh, Goody Reader app store here. And this will allow you to basically download whatever you want, tons of apps and things like that. So, just turn it to the side here if you wanted to install the Kindle Reader. It's fairly easy. Simple one-click download on our App Store here. Right, so you can use this as a dedicated e-reader if you want, or you could use this as a dedicated gaming device, and we'll show you a game in a second. And one of the cool things about gaming on this uh, uh, partner Lux is the ability to use the keyboard or directional keys to control the movements of your characters on screen. So instead of relying on a small touch screen and your fingers may, you know, cover up a lot of stuff, you can actually use the keyboard. Just as a tester, we downloaded a uh, Sonic game here. And uh, actually, the audio is pretty good on this because you are featuring a front stereo speaker design here. So it's actually pretty good. You can touch the screen to interact with games. Of course, there's ads. But once you're actually in the game, you can indeed utilize the keyboard as a full gaming device. And of course, I died. But just goes to show you that you can actually use the keys. To get more I, of that controller feel. I can't believe you died like, like, like on the stage it, one, level one. Two seconds into it. Oh. But either way, um, having the keyboard built in is very convenient for more than just typing and emails, but yeah, for even gaming. Yeah, so... I, I kind of I kind of like it. I mean, it's a bit of an outdated version of Android. Right, it's 2.3, which is about a year and a half old by this point, but um, oh, probably more, more than, than that. that. But I mean, you could use this as a dedicated e-reader. You could uninstall all the default Ictaco apps if you know the educational thing is is not your thing. I, and the big barrier to me is the price. Oh yeah, um, the price on this currently is sitting at about. $500. So an extremely high price tag. Now, if you look at it from a hardware perspective, you're actually getting a lot of value for a translator. They are billing it as one of the most advanced translating devices ever made so far. So you are getting a full high. This is a high build quality device, mind you. This is a very high build quality keyboard. You get full uh, 180 degree swivel screen. You are getting Android. So you do have the um, versatility of having Android on your device, but the price tag for it is a very is very high. You'll see here if you if you click that. So what this is is the French to English model. Now, based on where you are and what language you want to actually utilize in 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 uh, translation to English, for example, Spanish to English, German to English, you can actually order that particular model and they'll send it to you based on which one, what, Engl what language you actually want. So you can see here there's quite a bit of things. If we type hello and press enter, it is a French translation of bonjour. So um, very useful, very high build quality, but unfortunately if you're looking for an Android tablet, I wouldn't go this route whatsoever this is an educational device yeah I mean that if you're learning a different language I mean this would be perfect for you because it's it's hardcore built and I think the the reason why this is expensive is because of all the proprietary Ictaco apps that are on this we've seen their app store before and a lot of their translating apps are like $49 $129 and so on so right. not only are you paying for the hardware but you're actually paying more for the apps that they've built onto it. And that's really what they told us is why the attack of say Jetbook Color and the Partner Lux is so expensive. It's um, it's partly because of the hardware, but mainly you're paying for all their proprietary apps. Um, unlike a Kindle Fire or unlike just your generic Android tablet where it's 
totally reliant on the customer to find and buy your own apps on Google Play, Goody Reader App Store, Amazon App Store, One Mobile, or a ton of other services. So with this, you're buying this for a translator first and foremost. Uh, secondly, you're buying it to have a hardcore keyboard built into your tablet experience and then it, with being with Android you can install whatever you want as long as it's compatible with Android 2.3. So let us hear your thoughts. I think that design wise this is one of the coolest tablets this I've ever seen. This is definitely one of the coolest tablets. When we were in New York at uh, BEA Books Book Expo America 2012. We saw this for the first time exclusively. It just uh, it immediately piqued our interest, and then we recently just have a uh, review model here. And it's we can tell you for sure, it's everything we expected in terms of build quality. It's high quality, front-facing speakers, high high memory, uh, ex high expandable expandable memory. Uh, up to 32 gigs so you can definitely get some use out of this but as we said we want to hear your thoughts but definitely if you're going towards an Android tablet you would have a little bit better luck going another route right so comment on this video on our YouTube channel youtube.com slash goody reader for all the latest news previews interviews and industry-wide coverage please check out our website at goodereader.com and for a review of the attack partner Lux for GiddyReader.com. My name is Michael. My name is Peter. Everybody take care.